Welcome inside West Virginia's Basketball Hall of Traditions. Jeff Coyle joined by the head coach of the WVU men's basketball team, Bob Huggins. And since the last time we spoke, you've rattled off two victories, three in a row right now, and you find yourself at, in second place in the Big 12 standings. The team one game ahead of you, you still have yet to play for a second time. As you look at the opportunity that lies ahead of this team, going on the road to Baylor, to Kansas, and finishing off the regular season against Oklahoma State. You talked about it a couple weeks ago. It is an opportunity. What do you hope to see from your guys going into this weekend? Well, first of all, I hope they don't wear a bow tie. Uh, <laughs> why, why are you back to the bow tie? I just decided you know, to liven up the conversation. Maybe I'd wear a bow tie. Two, two weeks with a tie, and then you come back with a bow tie. I thought there may be a reason. No, I, I just think that, uh, you know, when the season starts, you want an opportunity to handle your own fate, and, and we have that. You know, we, if we went out, I think we, at worst, would tie for uh, the Big 12 championship, and that's kind of what we set out to do to start the season. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy, but, you know, wonderful opportunities generally aren't easy. They're, they're things you have to work very hard at, so we're excited about it. It wasn't easy the last time that you played Baylor at Baylor. Obviously, they beat you earlier this season in Morgantown. When you go out to Waco, the kind of challenge that you have, especially down low with a guy like Rico Gathers. I think it's a lot more than Rico Gathers. Rico does a great job rebounding the ball for him in their zone, which is, you know, rebounding in zones is generally uh, the Achilles heel, and he does a great job of that. But they just, they've got so many guys making shots for him. I mean, they just... Uh, you get down at eight at Iowa State with with those fans going crazy, and 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 Scott used his last time out, and they come out and just, I mean, on fire, and they're good. I mean, they're just they're 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 good. They have a lot of shot makers. They have a lot of playmakers, and they and they've got great length. And obviously, we still have another week before we get to this, but you're coming up on Senior Day, and uh, obviously, you guys plan on doing plenty after the regular season. But when you Think back on the time with Jawan State and Gary Brown. How important is it for you to send those guys out the right way? Well, I mean, that's. I, I think the the importance of having seniors is their sense of urgency. They know this is it. I mean, they're not going to get another chance. They're both going to go on and play. I think after this, uh, Gary in Puerto Rico for sure, and and Wani somewhere and for some team. But and this is this is the opportunity to go out the way you, everybody wants to go out and. And because of that, it, they have a sense of urgency. I, I thought their sense of urgency at, uh, in Stillwater really uh, made the difference in the game. I thought those two guys were just really solid. They, they played within themselves. They both, uh, what, they get 22 and 18 or something like that. But they, they, they got it within the context of what we want to do. And, and uh, I, I think that says a lot and, and shows our younger people the way things are supposed to be done. All right, well, one last trip out on the road in the regular season. Good luck this weekend with Baylor. Thank you. I'll bring a bow tie. Yeah, I'll give you this one if you want it. No, I don't want that one. I have my own. Thank you. Okay. Good luck tying it. Thank you. All right, Bob Huggins and the Mountaineers heading out to Waco. Baylor on the road, Kansas on the road, and they'll be back here to finish out the regular season against Oklahoma State.